that's uh, that's his skin code. Um, and these guys, if you want to know their names in the show, this guy I named him Pat, and so he will be Pat in the show. And I'm not sure when another season's gonna come out. Or well, we're already on season six, but season seven, I'm still planning out some di some dinos. So yeah. Next uh, up, we got the Blade of T-Rex. So its code's also in its review as well as the Apatosaurus is code. So there it is. Now next one is, this is the Watermelon, actually, no, no, no. Crylophosaurus, the most recent in my collection. There is a review for it coming up. So that is exciting, guys, right? There will indeed be a review for the Crylophosaurus coming soon. So, as you can see, it has the uh, sound strike. So, yeah, that is a really cool one. Definitely one of my favorites. And um, since it's one of my favorites, I'm on the top of, of skin colors. Here it is. This one's smaller, so it's kind of hard. So, let me just. Let me see if this makes it easier. There you go, guys. That's the scan code. If you guys let me scan this in the back, just gotta stop wiggling my camera so much. Good lord. So yeah, there it is. I hope fully you can get it. But I will be doing a review. And if you guys didn't get the uh, scan code, in a moment of silence for its roar there. But if you guys didn't get it here, the scan code will also be included in its review. So, there it is. Off to the side you go. He just did a roar, and I think it's because he would like to um, come back on camera. But here's the Masiakasaurus code. Next one's the Masiakasaurus. So, hopefully you guys can actually scan it, and it's not blurry for you. So... There it is. So it's the Masiaka source code. This is a fierce force, so a huge like head tipping action. It's actually supposed to come like in like that where the head just stays in place and the neck moves, but I don't know, it just does this whole slinging action. I don't even know what happened, but definitely didn't get this guy too long ago. I got him about a week ago, I guess, but Okay, now last one is this watermelon raptor. Not the most recent in my collection, but I nearly jumped out of the camera, mister. Come back. This is the watermelon raptor. Here's the scan code, and the scan code's also included in this review. So, um, all the scan codes are included. They're all included in their reviews. So, um, it's going to be easier, like... They're all included in their uh, reviews, so if you don't get it in their reviews, you can get it here. And if you don't get it here, then you can get it in their reviews, because it might be blurry here. And in the reviews, it might not. <gasps> but yes, this is the jumping watermelon raptor. Holy cow, that was loud. So yeah, so my top favorites, we have the watermelon raptor, Masiakosaurus, the uh, Cryolophosaurus. This this one's fun to say. I really like this one, but I especially love its colors too. The big roar and also the bite and fight T Rex's actions are really awesome. I love that side. That huge side biting action. It is just so cool. Um, but here I need to stand up to actually get its bite. There we go. Bite. So, yep, yeah, and I love how big and how like what I'm really focusing on is look at how detailed that head is. Isn't that just so cool? So yep, yeah, and it's overly big as well. So those are the scan codes for my uh, top five favorite dinosaurs as of right now. So, see.
see you guys in the uh, Cry Wolf of Source review coming tomorrow. Goodbye.